Today, Uber launched the world's largest fleet of self-driving taxis, and these vehicles are now carrying passengers around Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, just like any other Uber would. The San Francisco-based company has outfitted more than a dozen Ford Fusion cars with lasers, cameras, and GPS sensors, so that they can sense the environment around them and drive safely through all kinds of conditions, including snow and bridges and crowded streets. In the back of the car is a screen that passengers can swipe to begin the trip, and it also displays exactly what the car is seeing in real time through its array of sensors. While these cars represent today's state-of-the-art technology, they are not free of humans just yet. Each self-driving car has two Uber employees in front, a backup driver in the driver's seat, and an engineer who takes notes on each ride. So now I'm actually going to be able to test out one of these cars for myself and sit behind the wheel in one of Uber's self-driving cars. Let's see how it goes. Uber's goal is for its cars to be fully autonomous and self-driving, but right now human intervention is still needed sometimes. As I was driving, I had to keep my hands on the wheel and watch the road. In our 10-minute ride, I never needed to take over the car, but I was told to keep my foot over the brake, just in case. So here I am behind the driver's wheel, and look, no hands. So the ride was pretty smooth. The car could use blinkers and turn, brake, accelerate, all of that with no help from me. Uh, when you're in the driver's seat, you are supposed to keep your hands on the wheel, just in case you need to take back control. Um, the only thing the car can't do yet is change lanes, but that's coming soon. Uber is still building its fleet and plans to have dozens of self-driving cars available to passengers in Pittsburgh by the end of this year. In addition to the Ford Fusions like the one I rode in, they will also be introducing self-driving Volvos, which the company calls their second generation of self-driving cars. hurdle to reaching level 4 full autonomy is training computers to respond to every potential eventuality on the roads, including distracted human drivers. 